when I was about six years old, we were all playing soccer uh, out in the field by our house, and uh, we kicked the ball into our fenced yard, and my brother was gonna run around and get it, but my other brother was like, now nah, we'll just pick up Joel and just lean him over the side, and he can go get the ball. And, but, but he wasn't really strong enough to hold a six-year-old at arm's length, so when he like lift me up over over the fence, he like dropped me and I scraped my head against the f fence and I had to get stitches, like actually staples back then, like uh, in the back of my head and it hurt real bad. <laughs> Three years ago, uh, I was playing, we was in school, it was like end of the day, think everything's going nicely and I had just got through making fun of one of my friends because they were on uh, crutches. A few hours later, it was like the worst experiences ever. We uh, were racing in the gym. And while we were running, my shoes happened to fly off. Both of them. I, I tried to break a little too hard, and my foot kicked back up. When I came back up to catch myself, ran into the wall just like this, face first into the brick wall. Both wrists were broke, shattered. I had to go six periods with two broken wrists. It shattered. It's crazy. In my first marriage, my beautiful daughter of their second daughter, her father and I were first married and we were laying in bed fall asleep and in the middle of the night we wake up to find hands raising the storm window. He jumps out of bed and starts yelling Neanderthal things because he was half asleep and he jumps out of bed. I think the person who was trying to break into our apartment was a little spooked and they dropped the window and it came down with a crash and it sounded like a pop. The window shattered my husband leapt out of bed, leapt, is that a word? Yes. Leapt out of bed, English teacher here, <laughs> and he thinks he's been shot. Oh my God, I think I've been shot, I think I've been shot. No one was to be found. We had a shattered window. My husband was not shot. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'm 68 years old, and 68 years ago, my big brother locked me in a closet. <laughs> and at the time, I was in the womb. This is my big brother, and he is just an awesome guy. When I was going through a divorce, you know who was there for me? Right here on the telephone. She paid me. And, um, you know, I had a psychologist at the time, and he was wonderful, he was great, everything like that, but uh, finally I had to fire him. I'm like, I got some free counseling here. <laughs> so, brothers are always there for you. This is a drawing that I've been working on. It's called Price of Limbo 2, race crash uh, explosion. I wanted to go into different things that are happening in society. Here's the main character right here, he represents good. You can kind of see I put all religions on his chain. It says daddy right here. I took the race off his skin off to show that he's not any kind of race or religion. He's trying to save this woman. She here, she represents vanity. This character over here, he represents drug addiction. I have uh, Tony George, Helio Castro Neves, Danica Patrick, Michael Jackson, Lady Gaga, John Mellencamp, Britney Spears. I made a Monopoly money because I think people put too much of a value on money. I have a watch right here that you can buy for $40,000 that a rapper would wear. And then I have a college diploma that my brother got for $40,000 back in the day. Jay-Z, Beyonce, MSNBC, Fox News, the Middle East, the Romans, Egypt, the Crusades, Russian, us, Peyton Manning, Reggie Miller, Spike Lee, Michael Jordan shoes, Chris Brown in the future. You probably shouldn't call a girl at 3 o'clock in the morning if you've had too much to drink. I don't know a lot about babies, so I made it kind of like me. The original inspiration for this drawing is in this gentleman's helmet right here, Price of Limbo. I saw this at the art museum four years ago and I said I could do that. I could do it in a modern way and put my own spin on it. So I guess this is my drawing. That's the only story that I have for you. Well, senior year of high school, at our high school we went to Carmel High, uh, we had a senior prank and that was to start a food fight in the cafeteria. And uh, we had a food fight, what did you say, like, 60 people? Yeah, it was pretty big. Pretty big food fight, yeah. And uh, of all the people that were in it, about 20 kids got called down to the office in trouble. And uh, we happened to be two of them, and we weren't really friends before that at all, but we had to do community service over the weekend. And one of the times we just did community service together. And at Goodwill. Kind of, kind of hit it off. Yeah. So uh, yeah, long story short, it all starts with community service, and from there, now we're dating. Cute. All right, uh, well actually I got a story. Standing right behind us, uh, at that podium right there is where I proposed to my wife. <laughs> and that is her right here. 
And after six years, we were back down here celebrating our birthday. And we're deciding to take a ride on a canal. And that was one of the beautiful, happiest days of my life. I was marrying her and proposing to her on the canal. It was our first time ever being here too, so it was special. <laughs> and that's the story I have. <laughs>